Hello! Welcome to the, I think it's the fourth, maybe the fifth episode of Let's Play The Sims 4. Today I thought we would do something different. For the last four episodes I've made characters, so... Um, I thought I would build a house for Penumbra because she's living in a really shitty house in a really shitty neighborhood and I thought that an evil queen such as herself deserved a beautiful castle to live in. <laughs> so we're going through that, yes, <laughs> yes, perfect, yes, right. Goodbye! I mean, like, see you in a moment. Uh, how very suburban. How very suburban. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play as her, and then we're gonna move her to I think the vampire world because the vampire world. Okay, first and foremost, Penumbra is a monster. Then she's a witch, so she definitely needs to go into the vampire world, not the pretty charm Sabrina Spellman teenage witch bullshit that they have going on. We're doing a bit of ASMR. Look at this terrible outfit she's got on. <sighs> Why did I give her green blush? I will never know. Alright. I might change up her outfits a bit off screen as well, but for now we are going to cheat and I have to Google how to cheat because I forgot. It's been that long since I played The Sims. Mother Lord. I know there's a way to like enter your money, but it's not on this website that I'm looking at right now. So we're not gonna do it. No, we're not. No, not at all. But we are going to get her a thousandth mother load. Let's just pretend that it's canon that she has a money making magic since she is a witch and she can do whatever the fuck she wants. There goes another witch, uh, El Faba, whatever the fuck her name is. I don't like her. I used to like her, but I'm in the penumbra mindset now and she doesn't like anyone, so. <laughs> I don't like anybody right now. My skin is turning green. I did not do Rosebud though. I didn't. There she goes again. Alphaba! 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 Does anyone not know that she's like a reference to uh, Alphaba in Wicked? Because the original Wicked Witch from. Wizard of Oz, I don't think, actually had a first name. She's literally the one from Wicked. Okay, we have the money, so now we are going... Well, no, we're not going to look at the camera because we don't really give two shits about holidays in this house. We're going to move the house household. Yes. Yes, we are. And for the duration of the building itself, um, I am probably not going to record it, because if I do record it, I will be quiet so I can speed it up. And I chose to do that simply because uh, it takes me quite a while to do any kind of build in The Sims, uh, an hour to two hours at least, I don't know why. I'm not the greatest Sims player, but I do enjoy the game. Um, I have made this floating castle in the sky once before. For Penumbra uh, during my playthrough on the PlayStation 4 before I got a gaming PC. Um, Penumbra has a floating castle in the sky because she does in my novel. She's a character from my novel. She's the villain of my novel. My novel is called Dream, a surreal and psychedelic gay romance fantasy novel. It is available in ebook and paperback, paperback on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Um, the original castle that I made on my PlayStation 4 playthrough uh, was more rounded, uh, octagonal, and it had towers, and I really wanted to make this one different. Um, I wanted to give her like a grand entrance hall, um, big bathrooms, a beautiful dining room, just really things you would find in the castle. But um, whereas the one on the PlayStation 4 I made was literally just a giant dungeon. Penumbra has, uh, is an evil villain because the curse that she has, which she accidentally put on herself, she can't really control her magic, um, it is corrupting her from the inside out, and that is why she has green skin and amber-colored eyes. She didn't, she wasn't always evil, um, she used to be a very happy, plucky little girl learning how to control her magic, um... But if you want to know what happened to her, you uh, need to pick up my book. Now, um, as you can tell, I am not the greatest 
most uh, influential, most um, skilled builder in The Sims 4 realm, but I do quite love building. It's one of the most relaxing things in a game I think I've ever done, besides just vibing and flying around the sky in Warcraft. Um, I was planning on doing a Warcraft series, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do that though. Um, I ran into a lot of issues when I tried to start recording an episode for Warcraft. Um, my PC can't really handle Warcraft, unfortunately, so it, 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 when I'm recording it, it really slows down and it just skips and it goes absolutely insane. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do that until I get a better gaming PC. I do have plans to make a uh, gaming Art Aquarium crossover series of... Um, the stories I made up in my head for my Warcraft characters, uh, drawing them and um, giving you guys little rundowns of like my head cannons of all of them. Um, I love my Warcraft characters. I have like 10 at this point and I play on all of them all the time. And I don't understand how people can just play one character and have like one default character and then have one alt. How do you not stop creating characters and having their stories put around in your head? I just, I don't understand. <laughs> Since this episode is going to be so short, it's going to be considered an extra episode, so I'm probably going to record another episode right after it. I don't know if it'll have to do with Penumbra, or my character, or making another house for one of the other dream characters. I guess you guys will see whatever gets uploaded alongside this one. I do have a file on here of one of my favorite sims that I've ever made. He's a merman named Eerie, and he has a boyfriend who's a witch. If you guys are interested in seeing them and playing in their file for a minute, just let me know because I'm really wanting to jump back into them and play because I love them so much. And if anyone wants to send me any CC, I know I said in the last episode I wasn't interested because the realistic uh, hair on a sim looks strange to me, but someone let me know that their RCC that makes it look like uh, it's from the sims, I think they said it was called Maxis Match, so if any of you have uh, any cool stuff that you think I might like, feel free to send it to me. Um, uh, you can send me a link in the comments on YouTube, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, um, even TikTok, I don't mind if you send me stuff on there. Um, everything that I'm on social media wise is under the same handle, which is author DC Knipe. So my uh, publisher told me to make it easy for everyone to find me, so that's what I did. She's going right to the computer with all this cool shit she has, really. Why do all Sims just want to go to the computer? Like, that's all I want to know. Why do all Sims just want to go to the computer when you have so much cool shit going on? What is she doing? She's chatting. How boring. Alright, well, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys liked this video. I will be making more builds and all kinds of cool stuff in The Sims. Um... I don't think I'm quite done with this house, but I am done for the day because I'm really tired. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you.